In this video, I will demonstrate how to enter a center tab. This, in this demo, I'm showing the Word file that you use for the Word Lesson Set 3 Exercise Mastery. The temptation to center things is to use the paragraph alignment. It's here under the paragraph group on the Home tab on the ribbon. Looks simple enough. But when we are typing and creating a letter, we're trying to avoid clicking on the buttons and instead we want to be able to use uh, tab keys so that we can quickly enter in these letters. So the first thing is we're going to use this tab in multiple places. So the first thing is we're going to select all of the text uh, of the uh, document. Then we're going to go up to the ruler and we're going to add a tab. So over here is the tab type. It's in the left hand. It tells us what type of tab we're going to click. We currently have the center tab. If we keep clicking on them, it will go through the different types of tabs. This is a decimal tab. That's for lining up when you have decimals. A bar tab. This is an indent marker. And there is the default, which is the left tab. When you tab over this one, the word will line up on the left-hand side of the word with this tab. If we go to the next one, we're going to a center tab. The word will center around the tab. So half of it will be on the left of the tab. The other half will be on the right of the tab. The last one is the right tab. When you use tab over to this, the entire word will be to the left of that end marker on that tab. It's like as if you are writing a line. So I'm going to quickly walk through those again to grab it. Here we have the center tab. Now, when we go to click and do it on the ruler, we want to click just before where we want to place it. So we're aiming for three and a quarter. So we're going to click on the three. And there we can see it on the ruler. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the three and we're going to drag it over to three and a quarter. The three and a half is the bigger line in between. Three and a quarter is halfway of a half. And there it is. There's our three and a quarter tab. Now that we're done that, we're going to click, put our cursor in front of the title, and then we're going to hit our tab key. Notice that I have hidden characters turned on. I always turn that on when I'm working as should everyone else when working with typing documents so that we can see the tab. It's the arrow pointing that way. Similarly, we can go to the donor funds distribution chart and hit tab. And it's two is also centered. I hope that helps you.